Hey everybody, welcome back to Darth Snugan's Toy Reviews. Today we are going to talk about Merman and Stinkor. Now, why am I putting these two characters together in a review? Well, it's because Mattel used the same mode to make Stinkor that they used to make Merman. So in the in Series 1, we got uh, Merman, and this is our vintage here. And then all the way out in Series 4, a couple years later, uh, they, they basically took the Merman mode, created another whole new character, and basically just gave him this piece of armor and painted him differently. Uh, and we got a new character, and that's basically how that worked out. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and dig in and take a look at our vintage. Alright, so my Merman is in very bad shape. Uh, he does have all his, his accessories, but as you can see, he's loose, and he does not stand very well, so he has to use one of these stands to assist, but you can get a good look at him here. He's got this weird sword that looks like a corn cob. He's very worn out, but as a, just a display piece to keep on the shelf to represent the vintage, uh, I'm okay with it. Not uh, not the best. Uh, would I like to have a better one? Yes, but I don't. So that's that's what I've got for now. Uh, Stinkor, he's not he's not too much better. I mean, he, his arms are tighter. He does need a little assistance to stand. Uh, I am missing his uh, shield. He came with a blue shield. And let's uh, let's take his armor off so we can compare his face. Now this is the same armor that was used for Mechanek, so they really didn't do anything new for this character. And as you can see, get a good view of their faces here, I'll bring them in. You can see that, that is the exact same mode, just painted differently. Even the same feet, same hands, of course they are reusing Skeletor's arms and the feet. All right, so we're going to slide them back. And before we look at our Origins versions, uh, I wanted to bring in uh, the Lords of Power version of Merman uh, that the Origins line did release. This is one of the more uh, recent versions. Now, why does this look so different from the others? Because that's based on the original concept art. Uh, if you look at uh, some of the original packaging for the Masters Universe figures from that vintage line, the cross-sell art looked like this. And I remember being a kid and having He-Man and Skeletor and looking at the packaging and saying, ooh, I want that figure, and then we got that. And it was a big difference. I was like, well, this doesn't look the same. as He doesn't have boots. He doesn't have uh, gloves. You know, he doesn't have all the little things on his head. It's a very different looking figure. So, when the Origins line did come out and they updated our first release, has the vintage look, you know, as far as the design. Uh, of course, then we get all the uh, modern articulation. which this guy's pretty stiff which you'll find with a lot of these yeah and you don't want to bend them too much without heating them up or they will break uh, his knees are fine but his, his elbow joints are pretty stiff and of course he comes with that uh, corn cob sword and as far as the face sculpt I mean it's it's pretty accurate other than the eyes the eyes are a little different those eyes are really wild and of course the teeth are a little bit bigger but other than that it's it's a pretty accurate representation of the uh, the vintage figure alright so our origins version of Stinkor again he's using the armor for Mechanek only this time we still have not received a Mechanek for our origins line which I, I don't understand makes absolutely no sense and it's even it's almost hurtful that they 
that they that they released stink or so early on with Mechanex armor, but we have no Mechanex. Now I saw online where someone uh, had said that there was a report that Mechanex was going to be released in 2023 with the Ground Ripper, which okay, that's fine, but. Uh, he should have been released a lot sooner than, than that. So let's compare Stinkor Origins with Stinkor Vintage. And just like with uh, Merman, they do a pretty accurate job of recreating it. Just the, the eyes being the only thing that's really different. As far as the paint apps, uh, it's a little different. So like I said, this was Mechanex armor. Uh, of course his was red. This is just molded in this orange. For our Origins line, uh, it's the same design. It's just that pliable rubber, and it's all one piece. So you do have to take his head off to put the armor on and off. Let's get a good look at it here. Now, it does have some of the red in there, but it's really hard to see. They really should have went with a darker color to make it pop a little bit better all right and like I said before the vintage came with a blue shield but I do not have it uh, the origins of course has its own version of the blue shield which is pretty accurate and it's pretty cool and you can just stick it around his hand like that not really a whole lot going on with uh, accessories uh, of course his gimmick is that he can spray out the stinkiness and make everybody sick. Put our vintage back together. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig into our Lords of Power version a little more. And I really like the sculpting on this figure. I mean, even the little fins on his gloves... I mean, just it's a this is a great figure. So this is this is a, a really great representation of Merman because the vintage that figure never even looked like the animated show or it's like a, it was really a poor translation from uh, the cartoon series. Now to be fair, the figure came out. Before before the cartoon series so they made a lot of changes afterwards uh, but it's great that now finally we have uh, a true version of merman in the form of this lords of power release now i always thought he should have came with a trident but i guess uh that's a, him being of the sea i guess that's a little on the nose giving him a trident all right guys that's going to be it for today uh, if you would, take a moment, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe. And I appreciate you uh, sticking around. Have a great day.